Hello friend, in this video lecture I am going to discuss about how to get information about files, folder and drive using seesaw.net. So this is the code that I already written to save some times. Now this part is for our drive uh, information and here this part for directory information. Now at this part here this is for file information. Now let's uh, run this code and uh, check the output first. Now you can see on separately or uh, here you can see drive information and uh, after that uh, you can uh, see here or uh, somewhere driver now hidden and uh, total one two three four five six seven so here after directory information this is the part for directory information and after directory information now you can see the file information so here this is the directory information and here this is the file information now let's uh, understand this code first so here i used uh, two namespace first is uh, system so if i give comment on the system now you can see console clause has error that means console clause definition that comes into system namespace so, so e system namespace that require now next uh, namespace require system.io so if i give comment now you can see uh, drive info directory info file info has some error that means so uh, this three is or uh, classes that uh, definition comes under system.io namespace if i uncomment then there is no any error now if you take the cursor on the drive info so here provide access information on drive so di is the object created with the help of new drive constructor and inside that i pass here drive you can give c drive d drive f drive so whatever you like now here after console dot or write time now you can use the uh, di and if you press start here you can use the uh, drive format drive tab name to a string total size all those things you can use so here i use the uh, uh, name and uh, there is uh, one important thing it should be in op okay now first uh, that display drive information here after or uh, you can just uh, write uh, here after this now you can uh, this uh, path that come now drive information di dot name that display so name of drive that is uh, c and here total size that display and now total free size volume level so get set the volume level and here drive tab so this will or display the drive board information now here after console dot write directory information so here directory object dr created di that uh, call root directory so get the root directory of drive and uh, here dr uh, that call attributes and uh, here get the set attribute out of current file out directory that convert into a string now directory info this is array tab and di info so get directory a star dot a star that uh, call all the directory and one by one that go to directory info and here after that come inside d dot name that display directory name now here after the next is this is for file information so here file info this is array type f -tem. so it will get all the files because i use a star dot a star now get all the files f name that is store f name that go to fi one by one and here that display file name last access file length this all those things now let's uh, run and check the output again so here this is the important program to get directory info file info and uh, driver information 
so here let's make that bigger now you can see this is the driver information so here uh, since I have given C drives it's taken C size free space volume tab windows and fixed and here this is the directory info hidden system this all config and uh, this all directories are there and about this directory and here this is the file information so file information here this is boot and uh, this all files this is the create date update date access date it's uh, displaying here so this is the way we can find all two information about files folder and drive using csr.net so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see next video thank you